YouTube family, what's going on? It's 5 One Crazy here. Back with another quick review. Um, just giving you guys a few quick updates. And also just want to go over the mods list of what's currently done to the Coyote. I get a lot of questions on, you know, what's done to it, uh, what's coming up next. So I really wanted to touch on that in this video. So to start out, this is the 2013 Mustang GT track pack. Um, if you get the track pack, you do get the Brembo package in the front, you know, upgraded interior. Recaro seats, uh, oil cooler, and pretty much a few other upgrades. Um, so currently what I have done to it, I did the Raxion fog lights. As you can see, I have the MMD chin spoiler. And <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, y'all, this is my second one. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little crack right there, man. This is my second one that I done went through. Uh, and basically my next mod will basically tell you why that happened. Um, so I'm also running on the Raceland coilovers. I have a review video if you want to check that out of how I put them on. And pretty much ever since I lowered the Coyote, man, everything, <laughs> everything changed. I definitely salute anybody that's riding stanced out and low because I can't do it like that, man. <laughs> I can't lower it too much. As you guys can see, I did swap out my OEM badge for the new updated 5 badge off American Muscle. Uh, coming to the inside, we have Recaro seats on the driver and passenger side. I have a lot of interior upgrades coming, man. I want to switch out the gauge clusters, you know, get a touch screen, hopefully. As you can see, we have the, the radar detector. Got to stay safe out there, man. Um, I did do a rear seat delete. I have the seat kit. I have to put the back piece back on there. And I have nothing in the trunk. <laughs> so she's basically gutted, if you want to say that. And pretty much, that's all I have done on the inside, man. As you can see, when we come to the back, I just got these Forge Star CF5Vs put on both sides. We have the MMD carbon fiber chin spoiler, GT500 style. Then coming down with the Morimoto XB facelift tail lights. And of course, I'm running the boiler exhaust. As you can see, I have the side marker swapped out. Oh, and I can't forget the power stop brakes. I also went with the power stop brakes. Slotted and drill, front and back. And then like I said, man, I'm running on the JBA ceramic long tube headers connected to the off-road X-Pipe. All JBA. Right now she's currently running 400 wheel horsepower. Hoping to break 450 by the end of the year. I'm gonna just give you guys the outside look of it. And it's something about this gray man at night. This bitch is something else. I'm gonna give you guys a little walk around. Yeah, she uh she screams too. I may I may give you guys a few exhaust clips. It all depends. I don't wanna <laughs> get too bright around this motherfucker. I, I call this my spaceship, man. She <laughs> she gets down. And last but not least, I have to pop the hood just to confirm that she is still stock all over besides the exhaust and a few suspension mods. That's a few pull over the set. I can adjust the dampering and everything. Shout out to Raceland. Yeah, man, I, I definitely need to clean my engine bay up a little bit. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so just a stock 2013 track pack GT. Hoping to be one of the fastest NA Mustangs in North Carolina. We'll see how that goes, man. Oh, and before I forget, guys, we are running the Barton Gen 3 short throw shifter. Definitely helps with shifting, man. Um, we are running also VMR suspension in the back with the Raceland coilovers. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like I said, that's the ceramic long tube JBA, long tube headers connected to the off-road JBA X-Pipe. 
But yeah, guys, so I just wanted to park the car in another spot just to really go over what we have coming up. Um, so, you know, so hopefully we're working to get the Cobra Jet Manifold. I'm going to port that bitch out. They're also going to grab a PMOS or JLT intake. And, you know, pretty much after we get that, we want to go either stage two or stage three cams, man. So we're definitely going for that max power in a build. We're going to try to get the most out of it that we can. Uh, try, you know, try to shed some more weight if we can. Definitely want to get more carbon fiber soon. Uh, on the carbon fiber, it'll probably be the hood. And after the hood, it'll be the fenders. What's going on, big dog? <laughs> After the hood to be defenders, and uh, you know, pretty much just get everything looking good, man. That's what we want to do. And, uh, that's the crazy part about buying car parts, man. You know, you you got to choose between power mods and cosmetic mods, which both can get expensive if you really have a certain look that you're going for. Uh, definitely going to tend it soon. I have a guy in uh, I think he's close to Raleigh that I uh, got to hit up with some mobile tent. And uh, yeah, man, so we definitely have a lot coming up for the Coyote. Can't wait to see what we do with it. And uh, definitely gotta start taking this <laughs> taking this little bitch to the track. Getting them quarter miles and everything. And I, I don't definitely know if we wanna thank you for all the support. Instagram, YouTube, uh, you know, just for being with me down this journey. And we'll see what we can get out of the Coyote, man.